Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, I'm gonna go over some secret Samsung S23 settings and features that you might not know about. Now I've already made a video about the first things that you should do on your brand new phone. So if you wanna check out that video, I'll leave it linked in the description below. But in this video, we're gonna go over some settings that are a little less known. So. Let's get into it. And to kick things off, you might have noticed that I have an extra button down here that you might not have on your phone. Now, this is an accessibility button that you can map to a certain action. So for me, I have it to enable extra dim so you can see how my screen will dim. And that way, it's easier for me to use my phone at night and I don't have to go into my settings. I can just quickly tap on this button to enable extra dim. Now, to enable this button, what you want to do is go into your phone's settings, go to advanced settings, and then here you'll see accessibility button. So if you tap into here, you can now select what action this button will take now you have a choice between all of these different things i personally have it set to extra dim but you can go through here and select whatever you want and then every time you hit this button it will perform any of these actions that you select all right now the next feature that a lot of people don't know is that you can actually change how many icons appear on your home screen and in your app drawer so right now you can see there's a layout of four by five but if you want more icons and more space on your home screen you can actually do that by changing the grid now to access it all you need to do is pinch on your home screen like that or you can just tap and hold on it and then go down here to settings and in here you'll see this option that says home screen grid and app screen grid so just go into here and change it to any of these other options if you want the most space just tap five by six you can see how everything got smaller then tap done and then we're going to go back into that settings again we're going to go to app screen grid and we're going to do the same thing here select five by six tap done and now you can see in your app grid you actually can fit a lot more icons and on your home screen you have a lot more space for more applications so you can just start moving things around adding more applications to your home screen and you can even add more widgets or just expand on the widgets you have because you have a lot more space now and it just looks a lot more nice and there's a lot more space for all of your applications all right guys now this next feature is a really useful way to share your files across your samsung devices and it's called quick share and it's pretty much like airdrop on your iphone so you can share your files across any samsung devices whether it's your phone or tablet or anything else and all you need to do to use it is make sure that airdrop is enabled in your settings so you can see i have it enabled on my receiving phone and i have it enabled on the sending phone and now all i need to do is find the file that i want to share tap on it tap on the share button and then go to quick share and then right here you'll see my phone show up and all i need to do is tap on it and you can see that this phone immediately receives that file it is so quick and seamless you don't need any wires just simply enable quick share share the file and you're all set so if you share a lot of files definitely check out this feature if you're somebody who likes dark mode, you're definitely gonna appreciate this feature because it will allow you to use dark mode in apps that don't support it. And you can see that I have dark mode enabled on my phone, but there are some apps out there that don't support dark mode and will remain white, but you can actually force them to go into dark mode. And all you need to do to do that is go into your phone settings and scroll all the way down to developer options. Now, if you don't have developer options on here, all you need to do is go to about phone, tap on software information, and then tap on your build number seven times. You can see mine is already enabled, but it will ask you for your pin. Once you put your pin in, all you need to do is go back to your main settings page and you'll see developer options down here. So go into here and then scroll down a little bit past the middle section here until you see a section that says force dark mode. And yours is gonna be off by default, but go ahead and enable this. And you can see it says force apps to use dark mode even if it's not fully supported. And now all of your apps and everything across your phone will be using dark mode even if they do not support it. Definitely a really cool feature if you're somebody who loves dark mode. You know how when sometimes you're reading a long article or just looking at your phone but not actually interacting with it, it will dim because it's getting ready to lock the phone? Well, it does that to preserve battery life, but it can be annoying to constantly have to tap your phone just to keep it unlocked. Well, there's actually a solution for that. And all you need to do is go to your phone's settings, motions and gestures, and then enable keep screen on while viewing. And what this will do is use your phone's selfie camera to see that you are looking at your phone. And even though you're not physically interacting with it, it won't lock your phone. So you don't have to keep tapping it to keep it awake. But if you put your phone down and stop looking at it and don't interact with it anymore, it will, as usual, go to sleep after a few seconds to preserve battery life so this is like the best of both worlds i definitely suggest you guys go ahead and enable this if you guys are planning on keeping your phone for many years to come one thing you should really be cautious of is your battery health because the battery is the lifeline of your phone and if your battery deteriorates your phone is pretty much going to be rendered useless as it's not going to be able to hold a long charge so if you know you're going to keep your phone for a long time what you should do is go into your phone settings tap the search icon and then type protect battery you'll see it right here 
tap onto here and then down here you'll see this option to protect your battery go ahead and enable this and what this will do is cap your battery's maximum charge to 85 percent so your phone will never charge past 85 percent because we know that it is bad for lithium ion batteries to be at a high charge but also at a low charge so keeping it between about 20 and 80 percent is ideal so this feature will just cap that on the high end now obviously you're going to get a little bit less battery capacity throughout the day because it's not going to charge to 100 percent so you're losing 15 percent right off the bat but if 85 percent is enough to get you through the day with how you use your phone then you can definitely go ahead and enable this and this will definitely help your battery stay healthy in the long term if you're somebody who shares your phone with family members or kids or maybe somebody just wants to use your phone for maybe 20 or 30 minutes and you don't want them snooping around your phone you can actually open up whatever app they want to use and then pin that app to the display and they will not be able to exit that app unless they have the password to your phone now to set that up what you want to do is go into your phone settings in the search type pin and then you'll see pin app right there and all you need to do is go ahead and just toggle this on now we have the ability to pin any app to our screen so let's say somebody is using your phone and they want to use the youtube application and you don't want them to be able to leave this youtube application and snoop around your phone all you need to do is open up your app drawer go to the youtube application tap on the icon and then tap pin this app and now you see it says this app is pinned so now whoever is using your phone can freely use youtube go anywhere within this app but they will not be allowed to leave this app you see it says to unpin this app swipe and hold but if we do that it's going to ask us for a pin so if they don't have the pin they will not be able to leave this application but if they're done with your phone you can just go ahead and enter your pin and now it's unpinned and you can go back to using your phone all right guys now this next feature will allow you to hide applications without actually deleting them so if there's any applications that you don't really use often but you still want to keep on your phone but you don't want them showing up and cluttering your app drawer what you can do is hide them and to do that just tap and hold on your screen Go to settings and then down at the bottom, you'll see hide apps on home and app screens. So if we tap into here, you'll see all the applications that you have on your phone. And to hide them, all you need to do is just tap on it. So let's say maybe we just want to hide our calculator. We no longer want to see it. When we tap done, this app will no longer show up anywhere on our phone. And even if we try to search for it, it's not going to show up. You see, there's no calculator application. And then if you want to bring it back up, all you need to do is go back into your phone settings, go to hide apps, and then just tap this minus icon and now your calculator app is accessible again all right guys now this last feature is not necessarily a secret but a lot of people might not be realizing that they're doing this wrong so when it comes to our galaxy phones we have absolutely amazing cameras in here but if you're opening up your camera and just using it with the default settings you're not taking advantage of the amazing capabilities of these cameras because the default settings on the cameras are not set up for those high resolution photos so if you want to take advantage of 200 megapixel cameras and 8k video you actually need to change that by yourself so if you go to your photos tab right here and then tap up here you're going to see these options right here so you have 50 megapixels here and 200 megapixels here and you need to select these if you want to take these high resolution photos so, so once you select it now you're taking high resolution photos and you need to do the same thing for video by default you can see that it's set to full hd 30 fps but if we want to take 4k or even 8k video we need to go in here and then select them from here so if you want to take 8k video you need to select that feature and now we're taking high quality high resolution beautiful videos all right guys there you go that's going to do it for the secret settings on your samsung phone that you need to check out i hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments below if you have any more cool features that we should know about but i hope you enjoyed this video if you did be sure to leave a like subscribe for future videos to come and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.